Hey guys, the G1 Bone will be here bringing you another Transformers review, but before I get started on it, um, I just want to say, I got a new camera, I'm using it right now, and I had to make a stand for it since I couldn't use my normal tape thing, because the tape is like way too big for it. This is, pr it's about that skinny, so, well that long, uh -huh. yeah, so I had to make one, and it goes, it goes right in there, like that. And now I can use it. it still go up and down. Best I can do a short notice here. Well, not short notice. Best I can do. Alright, uh -huh. I didn't really work too much on it. But yeah, uh, I'm going to start with uh, my review, my two reviews, or maybe three today, with Generations Cliff Jumper. And do I, can I zoom out? There? No, I cannot. Alright. So yeah. I got this guy because uh, he's better. I like him a lot better than Bumblebee. This seems like a better mold for Cliff Jumper than Bumblebee to, to me, anyway. I, that's just that's just what I think. Works very well. Um, instead of this cat, well, I'll show you him anyway. But we'll also bring out his original self. So yeah, I really like the red. It's coming out as like a kind of different color on camera, but. It's a very, very nice red. Very nice. I, I really like it. Um, and just to show you more of the modern day, more modern figure, here's Generations uh, um, Soundwave. I'll do a review of him next. So, yeah. Um, he's just like Bumblebee, just the color scheme's different. So, yeah. We all know this transformation. He's a lot tighter than Bumblebee too, especially in the legs, which is good because my Bumblebee can barely stand. It's actually a very simple transformation. It's just hard to get all the pieces to go together nice and easily. Have to say, the Generation figure with the hardest transformation from the mo from the video game, which I count him as a. War for Cybertron uh, figure. Um, I would say maybe Optimus and Bumblebee are the hardest. But yeah, th that's just my opinion. I mean, it's harder for different people. I would just say Optimus and Bumblebee are probably the hardest. Out of all of them that are out so far. They might make more. I hope they make more. It'd be really cool. I hope they make Starscream. But yeah, there we have Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. Um, here's G1 Cliff Jumper. Show that off and excuse me for one second. Here is um Generations Bumblebee. You can see they're basic they are the exact same figure. I just think it works a whole lot more for him than him. And what I like to do with him, and excuse me again. Just just cause I'll bring an Optimus Prime here. Oh, knocked over Bumblebee. What I like to do with Cliff Jumpers, I like to take Optimus Prime's gun. Which I super glued because I was getting tired of the gimmick. It's really floppy on mine, and I, I like to put the gun on his back like this anyway. It was, I like to give him Optimus Prime's gun. Like that. And let him have his pistol. That's how I pose a quick jumper. Just with that. And then I just put Optimus like that. Like, oh, I am Optimus Prime. <laughs> Bumblebee I'll, I'll have with one blade out but yeah he does have the blades too but they're orange or yellowish I think that's kind of cool how they swapped it with them it would been cool if they gave him a yellow Autobot symbol but hmm. silver looks good good too but that is kind of a pinkish is what they used on the video game characters I think they just uh Use this mold 
instead of making a new generation one to copy it off generation one was because I guess they probably got lazy and they are coming out with United Bumblebee based off the movie colors which I really want that because I've always wanted the classic Bumblebee mold but yeah anyway this is the G1 Bumblebee here with Transformers Generations Cliff Jumper. Please rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.